which expression is equivalent to this expression here. So we need to see which one of these is equivalent. And it seems here that these answer choices are simplified forms of this. So let's simplify this down. So the first thing we can do is rewrite this as the product of two terms, since this quantity here, x squared plus 11, is being squared. So that's just x squared plus 11 times x squared plus 11. So we can simplify that down to x to the fourth. So we'll just multiply this term with both of these, and then this term with both of these, and add all those together. So we'll get x to the fourth of the first one, since multiplying um, something the same base, in this case x, with something raised to the power. We just need to add the powers and keep the base the same. So then x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, and then x squared times 11 is 11x 11 squared, then 11 times x squared is 11x squared, and 11 times 11 is 121. And then we can just add these two like terms. So x to the fourth plus 22x to the x squared plus 121. Okay, now we can do this multiplication of these two binomials here. So we have x minus 5 times x plus 5. So we'll just do the same thing again. Multiply this with both of these. And then the second term with both of these and add those quantities together. So x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And then negative 5 times 5 is minus 25. And if we add these two like terms, so we'll have x squared. And then these will cancel out. And then minus 25 here. So now we've simplified both these terms, so let's add up this with that. And we can see that the x to the fourth, here I'll do it inside here. So x to the fourth stays the same, since there's no other x to the fourth. Then we have this x squared and this x squared, so we'll have 23x squared, and then 121 minus 25 that's just equal to 96, 121 minus 25. So now that we've added both these terms together, this is the final simplified form, and that's equal to answer choice B.